coming sort of a little bit a little bit out of it's in the new forest but it's not like the national park bit there's not so many horses that are going to jump out lash out in the middle of the road <laughs> uh, so you can get a better speed going With the ongoing fuel saga in the UK at the moment, seems to be a bit of a nightmare. Um, I actually did a video on it a while, a few well, a few days ago. Um, check it out if you haven't seen it. I did like a test or a ride around, see how how many garages it takes me to get fuel. It's quite a fun one. Yeah, here we go. Looks like they've got fuel here, so any chance you, I can get, I'm just topping her up every time. Thirty pound cap. That's fine for this bike. So yeah, cool. Let's get some uh, let's get some fuel in her. Keep her keep her topped up. Okay. Wow. How cool is this look? It's coming up to uh, the Solent Way. Very close to Hearst Castle now. It's just opened up into this scenery. I think that's the Isle of Wight. This is the hills you can see over there. And then there's the Solent in between. Wow. This is cool. The sea! Well, I'm not sure how close you can go, you know. With your bike, etc. Excuse me. Sorry, do you know if you can get to Hearst Castle? Do you have to walk all there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. No, I didn't quite realise that. <laughs> it's about a 45 minute walk to Hearst Castle. But I seriously think it's worth it. We're going to go for it. Let's do it. Caution to the wind. Well, you know, it's all about these adventures. It's all the fun of it. Nice surprises. Looks like a nice walk though along there. Yeah, uh, it'll be look spectacular when we get there. Park the bike somewhere nice and safe. Get her walking boots on. Sweet, so it's probably about 40 minute, 45 minute walk out to the uh, castle. I wasn't expecting it to be so long, but it's nice. Just walk up along this shingle bank and you got sort of the sea to your right hand side, just there, which is beautiful. And you've got the needles the um, rocks in the distance there. And then on your left hand side, it sort of leads into the bulk of the Solent really, and then Southampton and Portsmouth. But yeah, we're nearly there. A little bit of exercise, but it's nice. It's looming up, coming a bit closer now. So you've got, um, there's some emergency work going on. So a little bit of it's closed. Not too worried, it'll be really cool. Looks like the east wing, it says here has um, collapsed quite recently, last year actually, um, just due to the sea like pounding it and corroding away at the foundations. And you can see there in the picture, the whole thing's come down and looks pretty bad. But it used to be um, used to hold heavy, heavy guns and cannons. So it was built out of granite, really strong. But yeah, over time happens, I guess. Here she is, quite a menacing structure really sort of military cold vibe to it yeah, it's cool it looks absolutely solid which is part of the main reason why they built it i guess but yeah amazing quite sort of dominating eerie place actually This is just as you walk in. They've actually closed this area off. There's some barriers here. They're not letting you in for some reason, but that I thought was a cannon. That's not the cannon. That's the ammunition or the shell for the cannon. That is the cannon. God, look at the size of that. Huge, guys. And then the, the lighters up there, like the stoking it and loading and lighting, I presume. That is absolutely massive. I mean, this rear 
end of it, I reckon has got to be at least 10 foot tall, easily. So this is so cool, this place. I wasn't expecting this to be so good. It's real, like, don't know how else to describe it, like hardcore military fort. See how thick the wall up there is. Dominating um, aura to it. Really cool. Just heading down into the, uh, the shell store where they kept all the ammunition. Oh, hello. Woo, woo. Oh, it's spooky down here. <laughs> it's just me in here. God, it's floors completely flooded. So this is the northeast bastion I'm standing on here and that is Southampton in that direction and to the right here is the Isle of Wight and you've got these like chimney tops you've got this sort of really nice like really cool red very distinctive red brick with the chimney tops low and then you've got the Solent just here the front of this is just solid Solid rock, it's so sturdy, this place, it's amazing. You can imagine warships or t attackers trying to come in through here and you've got the Hurst Castle here, just <coughs> <coughs> bombarding them with uh, artillery. All right, let's carry on, uh, I'm just gonna walk around, head west now, over to the west side. This is where we were, the northeast bastion and then you have this massive wall there look how solid it is the rock is just so thick and strong and then i assume these are some sort of barrier to ships so they can't land but yeah so cool so i'm down in the uh, gunpowder store big like circle circular room with this sort of bit in the middle with lights in it, which is where I think they kept the gunpowder, like around this really thick stone, um, I guess for safety in case it, it caught light or something and exploded, it wouldn't cause too much damage, but yeah, it's, it's quality down here. The gunpowder store. This place is mega. Never knew it, it shows it's worth coming to them. Come up those spiral steps. We're at the top of the um, Tudor Keep, I believe. On the east end, it's a real central sort of hub, or a keep, real stronghold. You've got a 360 degree view. I guess this, this is where they put the, um, the cannons for firing. That's the entrance there. And then 360 degree view, it's the Isle of Wight, spinning all the way around. So you can cover from any enemy enemy fire coming in. As you might be able to tell, I absolutely love this. <laughs> this is awesome. Hurst Castle, what a day out. So pleased I did that, that walk. It's not too far. Guess you're feeling good. Really worth a visit, guys. I've, I've lived in the UK my whole life and I've never been here. It's just near Southampton, but amazing. Feat of engineering and it's been here for so long but it is solid as a rock. Sturdy, sturdy place, really cool place. Yeah, so obviously this lighthouse at the end is in, um, is not like an old, old relic, I shouldn't say that, but it's not what like f worn down, it's still in use. It's still a fully operational um, lighthouse. Kept in better condition this, it's um, all sort of brand new paintwork and all looks very sort of new and it's really pretty actually. It's, yeah, I like the way they paint them with the um, sort of pastel green on the bottom and then the, re the rest of it white. Really worth a walk down to the end of the uh, end of the sort of spit here of land to take a look at the lighthouse as well. Oh, what a great trip! I really love that. See the um tides coming in here, we're just going to ride along, ride along this like coastal small road here and then it turns up up north towards Lymington which is where I'm going to be staying for the night just outside of Lymington. Sort of different vibe in UK now, it's not a sunny day.
day, but it's actually just still stunning. It's like swamps here. Really small lane. Oh, nice house in there. The Speedmaster, she's done so well as per usual. That old trusty Steve. No problems around here. So we sort of head back more into the new forest now. That's today's trip over guys, I hope you've um, enjoyed that as much as I did. Was so much fun. So much to do in the new forest, just motorbiking around, as well as seeing the sights. Such a brilliant combination of things to do. But for me personally anyway, I, I just love it. So the ride off, beautiful scenery in this national park. I mean you've got the combination of, you've got the wild horses, the landscape and then places like Perth Castle to go and visit during the day. It's a great weekend out. Thanks for watching guys. As always, Red Angle Revival, shout out to uh, Mental Health Awareness. Hello Pony. Alright lads? Yeah, look very relaxed. Yeah, enjoy life, stay happy, get out there and